The origin of the Andamanese has been the subject of speculation for centuries. As recently as 1973, an author wrote, I cannot explain the Andamanese and nothing is known about their past, and little more is known today. The Andamanese are near extinction following the population reduction caused by pacification and disease. Most of the present-day inhabitants of the islands originate from the Indian mainland. Of the dozen linguistically distinct tribes who populated the islands in the early 20th century, only four survive. The Sentinelese, Jarawa, Great Andamanese, and Onga, with a combined population of 400 to 500 individuals. The first two groups still maintain a traditional forest-dwelling lifestyle, while the Great Andamanese and Onge are settled and receive food and other aid from the Indian government. The native inhabitants of the Andaman Islands of the Indian Ocean are one of several isolated groups of small-statured hunter-gatherers who survive in remote parts of Asia. The Andamanese earned a reputation for ferocity due to their violent resistance to foreign intrusions. They remained relatively isolated from the outside world until the establishment of a British penal settlement on the islands after the Indian Mutiny of 1857. The British befriended one of the tribes, the Great Andamanese, and employed them as bush police to recapture escaped convicts. The Andamanese and other Asian pygmy peoples share physical features, including short stature, dark skin, peppercorn hair, scant body hair, and sometimes stetopygia with African pygmies. However, while the Asian pygmoid people from Southeast Asia to New Guinea resemble Melanesians in their cranial morphology, and Damanese crania more closely resemble those of Africans. A 1950 study on blood groups and proteins suggested that the Andamanese were more closely related to oceanic peoples than to Africans. Genetic studies on Philippine pygmies, based on polymorphic blood enzymes and antigens, showed that they were similar to surrounding Asian populations and rejected the notion that they belonged to an ancient stratum of Homo sapiens in Asia. The most favored current explanation of the origin of the Andamanese and other pygmy groups is that they are short-statured representatives of the early Australo-Melanesian settlers of Southeast Asia and Oceania and not closely related to the African pygmoid peoples. It has been suggested that the small stature of some nomadic hunting and gathering peoples in Asia and Africa might be a local adaptation to a tropical rainforest environment rather than the result of a shared ancestry. Little is also known about the Nicobarese peoples, who inhabit a small archipelago south of the Andamans as well as scattered locations in the Andaman Islands. They are thought to be related to the Malays and Burmese, and they speak dialects related to Mon Khmer and the languages spoken in Vietnam, Malaysia, and parts of Northeast India. This view is supported by the results of mtDNA sequence analysis on 33 Nicobarese islanders, which indicated affinities to populations of mainland Southeast Asia. Scientists presented DNA sequence data on Y chromosome markers and maternally transmitted mtDNA coding and non coding region data for several groups of Andaman Islanders and a sample of Nicobarese. This is the first molecular genetic evidence on the affinities of the Andaman Islanders, arguably the most enigmatic people on our planet. The present-day Andamanese, except for the four Jarawa, were tested for specific genetic markers common in Asian populations. None of the Andamanese showed the common nine-base pair deletion. However, all but two had a specific genetic change, indicating they belonged to a major Asian genetic group called haplogroup M. A haplogroup is a group of single chromosomes or DNA strands that share a common ancestor and have the same mutation in all versions. Further analysis of seven Andamanese, four Ongi, and three Great Andamanese involved examining their DNA for additional markers to see how they relate to known subgroups of haplogroup M found in other regions. These markers were used to identify various subgroups in populations from Ethiopia, India, the Philippines, Han Chinese, Borneo, Malaysia, and Papua New Guinea. The seven Andamanese showed no unique markers that would link them to these subgroups. Additionally, DNA sequences from the first hypervariable region were analyzed for 87 Andamanese individuals. They displayed 10 different mtDNA types, with two main types within haplogroup M. The first type found in all three Andamanese tribes had a single pattern of genetic changes. The second type, 
found in seven different patterns, had additional changes. Two other patterns were found in two great Andamanese individuals who did not have the 10400T change, but had other changes suggesting they belonged to a different Asian haplogroup called F. Nine of these patterns seemed unique to the Andaman Islands, while one matched individuals from the Indian mainland. The DNA of 48 present-day Andaman and Nicobar males was analyzed using 23 genetic markers. Six Y-chromosome haplotypes were found belonging to four major global haplogroups. All Onge and Jarawa had haplotype D, which has been seen in Asia. All Nicobarese males had haplotype O, common in Southeast Asia. The Great Andamanese males had five different haplotypes found in Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent, and Melanesia. Five Y-chromosome markers were further analyzed in 37 males. The results showed the different haplotypes and their group affiliations. Three of these markers were the same in all Onge individuals, and one was the same in all Nicobarese. All markers varied in the Great Andamanese, reflecting their greater genetic diversity. The analysis of mtDNA and Y-chromosome markers provides new insights into the history of the Andamanese people. All the Onge and all but two of the Great Andamanese belong to the previously described mtDNA haplogroup M found in East and South Asia. This haplogroup is thought to indicate the migration of modern humans from Eastern Africa towards Southeast Asia, Australia, and Oceania. The Andamanese belong to a unique subgroup of haplogroup M not previously identified in African or Asian populations, suggesting an early split from these groups. The DNA from present-day Andamanese and old hair samples showed unique genetic changes at specific positions. One genetic pattern in the Andamanese, called an dot hapi one shared changes with some Indians. A particular change at position 16357 is common in the Andaman Islands and also found in New Guinea and island Melanesia. Interestingly, linguist Joseph Greenberg suggested that Andaman languages belong to the same language group, the Indo-Pacific phylum, as languages in Tasmania, parts of Papua New Guinea, and island Melanesia, indicating a possible common origin of the peoples in these regions. The Andamanese, specifically the Onge and Jarawa males, belong to a unique Y-chromosome group known as haplogroup D, which is specific to Asia. This group has genetic features indicating an ancient origin likely connected to Africa, but has evolved separately in Asia. While similar groups are found in Tibet and Japan, the Onge and Jarawa have a distinct subtype not seen before. This shows that the Andamanese have a unique genetic history compared to other populations in Asia and Africa. The genetic analysis of the great Andamanese males showed they had five different Y-chromosome haplotypes, unlike the single haplogroup found in the Onge and Jarawa. These haplotypes suggest a mix of Indian and East Asian male ancestry, reflecting the history of the great Andamanese during colonial times when they interacted with male laborers and convicts from the Indian mainland. European Y chromosome lineages were not observed. The great Andamanese now live on Strait Island and look quite different from other Andamanese groups. Their mtDNA diversity is very low, with most individuals sharing the same genetic type and dot happy one found in the Onge and Jarawa. A few had different mtDNA types, likely from non Andaman women. The differences in mtDNA and Y chromosome structures among the Andamanese suggest that their maternal and paternal lineages had different histories. It appears that some of the original maternal lineages have survived in the Onge, Jarawa, and Great Andamanese. The Y chromosome haplogroup of the Onge and Jarawa likely represents an original paternal lineage, while the Y chromosomes of the Great Andamanese probably reflect mixing with non Andaman males. All the male Nicobarese in the sample had the same Y chromosome haplotype, OMI5. This is consistent with their history and lifestyle. Haplogroup O is common in Asian populations and is linked to the spread of Neolithic peoples. The Nicobarese are sedentary farmers believed to be of Neolithic descent, and they resemble the Burmese in appearance and speak languages related to those in mainland Southeast Asia. Archaeological data for the Andaman Islands are limited with the oldest findings dating back only about 2,000 years. Despite this, the unique culture, appearance, and languages of the Andamanese suggest a much longer separation from mainland Asian populations. 
The sparse archaeological record makes molecular genetic studies particularly valuable, though the lack of additional data means these genetic conclusions can't be independently verified. The discovery of a unique subset of the mtDNA haplogroup M and the Y chromosome group D supports the idea that the Andamanese are descendants of ancient Paleolithic peoples once widespread in Asia. Their geographical isolation likely helped preserve these ancient lineages, which were largely assimilated or replaced by Neolithic agriculturalists in most of Asia. The distribution of Y-chromosome haplotypes suggests that early humans in East and Southeast Asia included both C and D lineages. These groups likely spread during periods of low sea levels in the Pleistocene. The other D lineages are found mainly in Japan and the Himalayas, indicating a connection to ancient pre jomon cultures in Japan. C lineages are present in India, especially among tribal populations, and are most common in Oceania. In conclusion, genetic data support the idea that the Andamanese are part of an ancient human lineage in Asia, which was mostly replaced by Neolithic agriculturalists in the rest of the continent. This aligns with linguistic studies suggesting that Andamanese languages might be the last remnants of pre-Neolithic Southeast Asia, possibly dating back to the first human settlements in the region. These languages seem largely unaffected by the spread of major language families like Austronesian during the Neolithic period. Interestingly, Andamanese languages share similarities with the language spoken by the Kusunda, an isolated ethnic group in Nepal, whose language is also considered part of the Indo-Pacific phylum. The low genetic diversity in mtDNA and Y chromosome markers among the Andamanese indicates a significant population decline. While their genes may persist, the loss of the unique culture and languages of the Andamanese people is a profound tragedy. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.